Are you recording this? Hey, good evening everyone and welcome to my live show. My name is I am Khmer and and this entire YouTube channel is called High Yield Dividend Warriors. We are the Khmers. And um and so where where does the Khmer people hang out? Uh, they hang out in Discord. So if you I'm gonna send you a link here and if you come to Discord, this this uh, this link literally will bring you right into the live show so all you do is unmute the mic and you can talk and you just join right in so that's where we all hang out that's where we post message that's where we exchange information ideas and that's where we all hang out and there's thousands of us we are one of the fastest growing investment community all we talk about all the time every time is high yield dividends all right so the music's kind of loud right now because it's just my introduction but what we're going to talk about today today is a very special um videos because we've done this we've done this once already uh, and I, I just called the love message to uh, to somebody okay this is our our community this is the things that we want we talk about on a regular routine and we want to we want the gaming company or the investment company in this case it's investment company um, to to hear you know people down at the root level what they talk about what they're thinking and uh, and we're gonna share that uh, that ideas to you. All right. So this particular video is a love message to Jay. Oh my God! I if I I, I practice pronounce his name all day, and then it's just as soon as hit live, and I can't pronounce it. So, somebody in Discord can help me. Jay Pestri Scully. Did I pronounce correctly? Close it. Petri Scully. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Jay, I apologize. I, I screw up your name. And that's one thing you should never do is mess up with somebody's family name, especially your family name. So uh, we'll call you Jay. And um, so this is a love message for Jay. Like, who's Jay? Like, wh who's this guy? That's the guy behind Tesla. That's the guy behind Yieldmax. He's the Yieldmax manager. He's the uh, co-founder of Zeka Financial. I think he also wrote a book called uh, Buy and Hedge. Uh, so, and... Yeah, so that, this is the guy. This is the main guy right here. This is the guy who make all the decision, and this is the guy who's talking about you know why our fund is six dollars right now. Seven? No, no, not six dollars. What, what's our price now? Uh, let me click on real quickly here. Uh, Eight dollars and seventy cents. All right. Uh, yeah, he's the guy. He's the main guy. Okay, so why are we doing this? Why are we doing this message? All right, because. There's a lot of things going on uh, yesterday and today because essentially, you know, Tesla just went right straight to the bottom. I mean, it's like it's sitting around. I don't know what the average price now is. Tesla is sitting at 182, and yield max is uh, it's 8.7 right now, and we're still about an hour away from closing. So, oh, I gotta send. Uh, I forgot to send him a link. I'm sorry. Let me do this real quickly. Uh, let me go to my J. I've got to. I've got to do this. Literally, I forgot to do this. I said I'm going to do this while I was prepping, and I forgot to do this. Uh, how do I post message? Oh, here we go. Wow, it just popped right out. If you want to listen to the conversation. All right. This is our message, our love message, all right? I want to make sure he's aware of that, not a hate message to you, all right? Here we go. I just sent it to him again. So, uh, now, I sent him a message earlier, and the, the, the plan is I want to invite him to our, chan uh, to our community to hear it. Uh, he doesn't have to talk to me. He doesn't have to uh, introduce himself. He'd matter of fact, he just come in and he'd just just watch it because it's YouTube. He could just watch it from a distance. He don't even have to say uh, make any comments, or anything at all, um, because we want him uh, we want him to to hear what we have to say. And uh, and you know, I'm not doing it for fame. I'm not doing it for for fortune, for money, and uh, stuff like that. Matter of fact, if he talked to me and said, "Hey, uh, come here, do you want to sit down and have an interview?" I would say, "No, no, thank you. I appreciate it." Uh, what I want him to do is just hang out and just just you know have a cold beer and just drink and and just enjoy the conversation. Yeah, I I don't need any fame. He there's so many other YouTube channels he can go hang out. 
I pretty much watch almost all his video. Like anytime there's a video of him, I watch it. So I watch almost all his video, and there's a whole bunch of people do a really good job interviewing him, and they have a great time. But yeah, he doesn't. He just just chill, man. Just just come and chill, and and uh, that's it. We're gonna record this. After I record this, I'm gonna send him the live uh, this recording uh, to him so he can come back and watch it. And uh, hey. So the title of this show is called tonight is called the love message uh, to Jay, and um, and normally oh let me talk about my uh, my week my show we we do uh, live shows on Sunday and Thursday every Sunday and Thursday at seven p.m. to nine p.m. and those the nine p.m. is usually a hard time why because I need to sleep but we do stream some other time we give classes we do stream in the weekend that's for the Euro, the Asian time zone. Uh, and then, but majority of time, we're in Discord. We're just in Discord, just chilling, hanging out, talking about investment, talking about uh, how can we improve our investment, you know, you know, new fund, new ETF to come out, or sometimes we have classes, you know. It's, it's in Discord that we do, and we, so we do this Discord discussion all the time. So, like, well, who's all these people in the Discord? Well, they're on your left side. You look at it. I don't know if you can see it. Let me click on the, my arrow here so you can see it. Yeah, all these people right here. Uh, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move around. See, you see all these people that are moving up and down. Look at how look how many people in our Discord right now. Uh, anybody in Discord want to say he say hello real quickly? Hey, come on. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? Another day, brother. Oh, hey. Yeah. So. We're in our Discord, we're talking. So our format of our show is essentially community. We're just having conversation. All right. I am no expert. Here is here is a part that people don't did not understand this. So Jay, if you're watching this, you're gonna be shocked. I started my investment journey in January of 2023. I opened the Charles Schwab account somewhere during Christmas. And I put my first $1,000 somewhere at the end of January. So not at the beginning, at the end of January. So, um, yeah, and the first time I ran into Yieldmax or Tesla was somewhere around January. And I started putting some money in somewhere around February. Uh, so, I'm yeah, I'm brand new. Brand stinking new. I have no idea. Uh, so my background, I mean, I went to school, but, uh, you know, I, I majored in a different field. I'm in the military. I joined the military since I was 18 years old. I'm still in. I'm still in uniform, and um, I have no financial training whatsoever. None. I I never work in corporate America. I never work. I never work in a cubicle environment, uh, sitting in a office with some guy with a suit. You know, so I have no idea. Uh, I I never count money to exchange money. Uh, so I have no. I I don't even know the terminology. I don't speak the language because I came from a different field. Now, one thing though is I know how to make money. So. I'm not poor. I know how to make money. Uh, you know, when I when I first when my family first came to America, we're all immigrants, and uh, yeah, we were we start off poor, but after I joined the military, I do really well, and uh, so I'm about to retire, and that's where my journey came in. So just a quick background on me. So I'm about to retire, and I'm about to leave the uniform for the very last time, and I don't want to work. I just want to leave and just not work. And so I got to figure out what to do with my retirement plan. What what's going on? So I the one of the things I got to figure out is how do I replace my income fund? Uh, the, the the I'm sorry, how to replace my income? And I was making about ten thousand dollars a month. That was my salary. Uh, military re military pay is public records. That's why I don't have any problem talking about my my pay. So it's ten ten thousand dollars a month, right? And um, and. Yeah, so, but I, you know, I have some other side business. I have rental properties and stuff like that. And so I figured out, I don't want to be, I don't want to do rental. I got to, I got to convert all that into investment vehicle. And so that's when I, that's when I start looking at the stocks. I don't know anything about stocks. I didn't even know anything about ETF. It was just crazy. Like, I don't, but I just know basic enough. I know, I know what yield means. Give me a second. I know what dividend is. I know that you buy low and you sell high, and essentially it. Uh, I'll give you a quick funny story. You know, uh, so you know when I think of stock, I think of like Coca Cola. So I wear the hats. So I bought Coca Cola stock at the beginning, and I went 
to Coca-Cola plant and actually walk around and look around. That's why I got the hat. I've been wearing the hat ever since. So, uh, you know, so I, I start my investment journey, you know, just wanting to own stuff. You know, I didn't even know what I was on, owning. But how I found your fund is this, because I know that in order to replace my dividends, I got to go after, I got to find income. And during the time, I thought SEHD was great three because Coca-Cola paid three percent and SEHD paid three percent. I have Charles Schwab account, so that's how I know about Charles Schwab. I didn't know about Charles Schwab because somebody talked about it. I knew Charles Schwab because there was a part of the Charles Schwab package. So when you open the account, they give you all these intro videos. So I watch it. I was like, oh, this sounds like a great fund. That sounds like me. Uh, dividends. I want to make <laughs> money. So I like. But I found your fund when I went through the stock screen and I used this one. I should show you. Exactly, I use stockanalysis.com, and I was just searching it. And I did, during the time, I didn't know what ETF is. I thought ETF was a mutual fund. I was like, okay, I'm not, I don't, I'm not interested in buying mutual fund. I didn't know what it is. I just used a screener, and uh, so I was searching around and play with it. And uh, well, this screen is already set uh, perimeter. Let me just reset it. So uh, let me go to general, and uh, I think it's come out to be like this. Yeah, it's 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 like this when you first start out. You got spy and IVV Vu. I'm like, what the heck is this? It's like four hundred dollar, four hundred. But I'm looking for I'm looking for a higher yield. So the highest yield I could find at the time was REIT, was Realty Income, it was Alteria Group, and then once in a while I I saw people talking in Google. I didn't even use YouTube. I was using Google, and they were mentioning Jeppy J E P I, but I don't know where that is. Like, where, what the heck is Jeppy? What company is that? Never heard of it. Never heard of it. And so I'm searching for it. You know, I'm searching for it. As I was searching for it, I went to dividends. I saw it. I click on it. And guess what popped up? One of them was Tesla. Tesla popped up. And from that point on, I, I asked the question. I'm like, what is this Tesla? Uh, I never heard of Tesla. What is that? And that's when I realized the beauty of this thing. And, uh, well, let me just... So... I found Tesla, I found Clip, I found OLK because this is back in February. So there was Tesla, Clip, OLK, and I read it. At first, I thought like, hey, this must be Tesla. So I've no because TSLA is Tesla. I was like, oh, this must be Tesla. I didn't know what option income strategy is. No idea, no idea. So I was like, okay, what is this? And uh, let me just read it, option income strategy. But there's two things that I'm just want to, didn't matter what it is. There's two questions I always ask before I buy something. Number one, how does this stock or this fund or this something generate money? How do they make money? How do they make income? All right, that's number one. Are they selling microwave, refrigerator, car? What are they doing? All right. And I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't, I didn't I have no idea. And then the second question, what caused it to be catastrophic failure? That was it. What, what, how to make money and what caused it catastrophic failure? Then I went to the homepage I have no idea what it is. I went to homepage and I read the pr prospectus. And back then there was only one. There was January. And your January di uh, distribution was somewhere around uh, somewhere around $9, 99 cents. That's all I saw was 99 cents. I'm like, what the heck is this thing paying 99 cents? And, and it was like $14. The stock was like $14, $13. I can't remember what the price was. I, I want to say $14. At fourteen dollar, I was paying ninety nine cents. Like, what the heck is this? And I didn't know what it was. I was like, why, why, why something is fourteen dollar and paying ninety nine cents? So I read it, and I still didn't understand it. But you know what? I bought it. I bought it. I was like, I'll, I'll, I'll buy it. I don't know what it is. I'll buy it and see what it works. And then it paid ninety cents. Then it paid ninety cents, eighty two cents. I was like, holy cow! Whatever it is, it's, it's, it's crazy. I mean, it's just like, I. I didn't know what option trading until July. I started making YouTube video around March. And in July, I met a guy named Kenny. And Kenny, uh, he's our option trader in the Khmer community. He's our, he's our teacher, mentor. Sun, we call him Sunsei, our Jamaican Sunsei. He teaches. us. And he's told me about option trading. He literally told me, and he said, that's how they make money. Once he explained to me how they make money, I fell in love with Tesla anymore. And that's when I made a video called All In on Tesla. Now, up to this point, I'm literally putting All In on Tesla. Why? Because it, was, it paid me 99 cents. Why would you not buy it? But I did own some other stuff. I own Coca-Cola. I own Reed. I own Alteria. I own a whole bunch of other companies. I own MPW. 
you know, I, but it's only 2%. Out of all those things I own, only 2%. 98% of my portfolio was in Tesla. It was all in Tesla. Yeah, so I, I made this and I just realized the beauty of this thing. The price go up and down. Uh, I bought it really high because I didn't know how to shop. I didn't know anything about DCA. No idea. No idea. I have no experience in this stuff. Don't even know the terminology. Couldn't even speak the language. If somebody try to explain me what DCA is, I have no idea. Uh, somebody try to explain me. And I never heard any of this stuff. You know what the crazy part? I never even heard the nav erosion until somebody started talking about it. Like somewhere around August, one of the YouTubers said, hey, the clip is going down. Here's a nav erosion. He's talking about clip. And then, and then later on, he explained about Tesla. And next thing you know, everybody's talking about Tesla nav erosion. I'm like, what are you talking about? I have no idea. No idea. All right, so why am I telling you all this? Because you're dealing, my community is dealing, we, we, our community is mostly of beginner, new investor. Like people, I just created an account for the first time. The purpose why I created because I want to help a community. I want to help an immigrant community. Well, there's all kinds of immigrant. There's Canadian immigrant, Mexican, Cuban, Jamaican, Barbados, doesn't matter, from Europe, from Germany, Russia's. Africa, Asia, they all came to the United States. And then not only that, I want to help a community of, of working class people. There's a lot of people out there working. They're hard working people. And they don't have an investment portfolio. They don't have a retirement plan. They go from job to job to jobs. And and when I when I saw this, I figured out, oh my God, this fund is beautiful. It is the ultimate, this is, and I didn't know the history. I thought there's a thousand funds like this. I thought there was like some other funds like this. So I started looking more for it. I start, I want to find more. And then I found out really back in January and February, there was not that many. And uh, Yield Max, Tesla, and ORK was unique. And Clip, Crane Share Clip was very unique. It was very special. It was a very special type of fun. And, and I fell in love with this thing. That's why I started making video like all in on Tesla to help this community, to help the all those people out there working. My dad put on roof. If he if he gets sick, guess what? He's not getting paid. There's people out there working on street construction. There's people who's a dishwasher working as a janitor at a hospital somewhere, frontline cook at a Chinese restaurant, uh, you know, working as a trash man at a city police officer, fireman, school, you know, bus driver, coach. This, this, the average salary in America is about $30,000, $40,000, depending on who, what group you're talking about. It's not a lot of money. It's not a lot of money. And how can you help a community? How do you help these community? Well, Here's a, here's a, here is my investment strategy and here why I went this way and this is why I saw it's beautiful. I came from a rental income. It doesn't matter what the value of the house is. As long as I get paid by the tenant, I'm happy. I'm happy. If they pay me $500 every month, I'm happy. And sometimes the value of the house go up and sometimes the value of the house go down, but it doesn't really matter. I'm getting $500 a month. So I came from that world. And so I was, I was doing well. But I, I want to be a true passive income where I don't have to worry about the boiler, the AC. I don't have to worry about the electricity or the house is on fire. I don't have to worry about any of that stuff. I just buy it and say it. And when, when, when Yield Max came along, I figured out pretty quickly. And I'll summarize it how I summarize everybody, how I explain to all the new investor. Imagine you're going to a mall and you have all kinds of service. There's laundry service. There's tax service. There's an accountant service. There's a lawyer service. You walk in a mall, all these service. There's real estate agent. If you want all these things, you can go to all these, you know, go go to this service. But then, and then there's a service in the mall called Yield Max, and the manager is Jay, and it's called Option Trading. Yield Max Option Trading. And I'm like, well, what is this? So you walk in there, and Jay is like, hey, man. You want to make some money? Yeah, of course I want to make some money. Well, all you do is, you know, put a thousand dollars, whatever amount you can put in, doesn't matter. And now we're going to give you 80%, 60% yield. 
Like, really? Are you related to Al Capone? Or what, are you going to break people's knee? Because in the history of human being, I mean, how do you generate 60% yield? That's crazy. Um, no, it's just, it's called option trading. I'm going to do option trading for you. I'm going to do option trading. I'm going to collect all the income, and I'm going to give it to you. In return, I'll just charge you, you know, 99.99% uh, maintenance fee, which is 1%. That's how we'll make our money. Are you good with that? Well, one of the questions, okay, can I get my money back? Yeah, it's ETF. You can just liquidate any time, like tomorrow. Like you buy into it, and you can just liquidate it any time. Really? I can liquidate it any time. The problem with real estate is I can't, you can't liquidate it. You don't like the house, you're stuck. You're stuck for a year or so until you sold it and sell it. You know, you're just stuck. You can liquidate this. Uh, the problem with comic books, you can't liquidate. The problem with baseball card, you can't liquidate it. So I was like, I was like, you can liquidate just, yeah. All you do is log into your account, your brokerage account, and just click on, you know, and just hit sell. It, it will take like five minutes. Not even five minutes. You probably can liquidate it faster than you go to a casino, uh, you know, cash, cash place, you know. Change a chip to cash. I'm like, really? Yeah. Man, I fell in love with this. This fund is truly a wealth builder. Truly is. When people say fortune favor the bowl, literally, this is the example. This is a good example. When somebody say fortune favor the bowl, this is a really good example. So people like me, who's really naive to the world, I came in, I buy for 20, 12, 13. I just buy whatever. I didn't DCA. I didn't know anything about nav erosion. I just buy it. I just buy as many as I can, as much as I can. Don't even care. I just buy, 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 buy. I just want as many shares as possible. The beauty of this thing, it doesn't, it, if, if I deploy it right now because I'm in the military, I'm on a ship and go somewhere off, I come back, guess what? It doesn't matter. I, I'm going to miss all this part. I'm going to miss the $8, $9, $11 because I'm on a ship somewhere. But guess what? Guess what? It's true. Every month, I'm going to get a dividend. I'm going to get 99 cents, 90 cents, 90 cents, 82 cents, 44 cents. That was a low time during the bank crisis. 80 cents, $1. That's when I became a believer. 83 cents, 58 cents, 57 cents, 58 cents, 60 cents, 55 cents. This thing, this thing, this thing was paying uh, $9, like $10, and pay 55 cents. This thing was paying $10 to $11, and it was paying 60 cents. And I realized real quickly what a true welcome builder. What amazing income builder. This is like one of the best thing ever, ever. So the, the name of this YouTube channel, the name of the show tonight is called Love Message to Jay. And this is our love message to you. And I want you, to, I want you to be proud of the baby that you created. You put your life work into hedge fund and option trade. I don't even know what hedge fund is. You ask me, I have no idea. All right? But you put your life work into this thing, into this book, into this journey, and you created this... Zeka Financial, and now you're managing a very successful uh, empire. And one thing I want to say is that I'm very, we're all very proud of you. All of us here are very proud of you. We're a huge fan. We're a huge fan because what you may not realize is this. Your product saved thousands and thousands of lives. There are families out there don't have to wake up four in the morning and have to go to work overtime. He doesn't have to do an extra job. Imagine, we, you're going to meet all these. After, after I talk my monologue here, I'm going to get a chance you, for you to meet the, the rest of the command nation. And you can talk to them. Some of these guys are working some hard, hard job. And guess what they do? After they finish working, they go get their second job, Uber driving, door dashing, just to pay their, their salary, their families, and all that stuff. But when they have this income, when they have this income, guess what? They don't have to do this anymore. They don't have to get a second job. Now they can rest their body. 
And it just gives you an idea. Well, what, what are we talking about? Well, for those who out there who have no idea, I've been doing my portfolio review all the time. Just Tesla alone, I have 6,000 shares of Tesla. 6,112. I bought some more today. All right? 600,012. All right? So let's just do the calculator real quickly. So to kind of give you perspective, 6,112 times 55 cents. I'm making $3,361 in terms of January payment. We don't know what February payment is. I'm making $3,000 a month. $3,000 a month. And that $3,000 a month, is, I will receive that plus or minus because the dividend go up and down. If we pay $0.80, cents, I'm going to get more. If we pay $0.40, cents, I'm going to get less. But I'm going to get this amount for a long, long time until Tesla fail or yield max fail. That's it. That, those are cost of, catastrophic failure. But I'm going to get this no matter what. I get this if I deploy for war. I get this if I was uh, in Miami, you know, uh, drinking uh, Mai Tai in a beach somewhere. Or I get this if I, I was in jail. It didn't matter where I was at. I'm going to get this amount for the, for the rest of my life, essentially, unless I live longer than Tesla, which I doubt it. Yeah, I'm going to get this for, for a long time, regardless what the condition is. This is the beauty part. But do you notice, I, in, in our community, we, we are focused on the dividends. And this is the, this, is the, this is the amazing part, and this is the fun part about it. Jay, I'll tell you, we love your fun. And when, when we buy, and everyone in our community, because a lot of them are hard workers and immigrants, and you're going to meet them here, when they buy this fun, we don't talk about NAV erosion. We don't talk about the prices coming down the capital. We don't talk about some using term like fall and knife. I have no idea what all these things means. None of us do. And we don't care. But when we buy this fun, we felt it in our heart. It's love. Owning Tesla, it should be like going on a date. Meeting your wife for the first time. You just fall in love. You, you just sitting there just fall in love because she's just giving you money. You just, it's just amazing. Owning Tesla, it gives you liberation, gives you freedom. Now I can go work in that construction all day, all night, in the cold, in the hot sun, in the rain. After I come home, I can just sleep and rest. I don't have to go get a side job washing dishes. I don't have to go get another side job Uber driving or doing door dashes or delivery or making pizza. I can just focus on my, your families, the kids, all those things. This is why it's so beautiful. This is why it's so amazing. And when, when our community, when we buy Tesla, it's a joyous occasion. And when we receive the dividends, one of the happiest things in our community is the dividend days. Now we're going to get two of them with your yield max and yield max. We're going to get two different weeks, exactly what we wanted. And it's, it's just been absolutely perfect. When we, hear, when we hear about Tesla, it's all beautiful smile and happiness. All of us are like that. So we have four questions to prep up because I want to ask the community. I want to give them a chance to talk. And, and this is my monologues. And uh, so, um, so I just share you how I feel. But you don't want to hear from me. I want you to hear from the crowd, from the audience, from everybody. All these people have been hanging out. So for those who are in YouTube and you want to chime in uh, and you want to say something, just, just come to the uh, Discord and, uh, and you uncue your mic and I'll give you a chance to, uh, to have a conversation. All right, one of the first questions I'm going to ask the community is, what does Tesla mean to you as an investor? What does Tesla mean to you, investor? You already heard my story. What does it mean to me? When I say it's full of love, full of passion, liberation, and freedom. What does it mean to you? So with that, I would like to give it to uh, Dwayne first because he's one of our key, you know, he's one of our producers here. You know, he's like, He's not a producer. We don't have any, you know, we just, we, we just a bunch of friends. Uh, Dwayne, you there? Uh, yeah, thanks, Kamir. Yeah. Um, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and get us going. You know, uh, 
you know, I've been in this for a while now, just like you. And and honestly, Tesla is a was a door opener for me. Um, you know, I said this a long time ago when we first got into it, is that you know it is definitely reliant on the underlying, and the underlying it'll take some actions that cause these funds to go up, and it'll take some actions that cause these funds to go down, and we need to you know uh, hopefully that underlying performs the actions that cause it to go up. And whether it's Tesla or the latest fund they put out, you know, that's what we need the underlying to do. And getting into Tesla and learning about these type of dividend investments opened the door for me to get into other funds and diversify out from beyond just Tesla. Uh, if I hadn't found Tesla itself, which is at this point the grandfather of these funds, it, it wouldn't have opened, you know, my eyes might still be shut to a lot of these other funds. Well, I, I appreciate it, Dwayne. Uh, go ahead and unkey your mic and I'll, I'll just call you out if you want to jump in and say. So the question is, what does Tesla mean to you as an investor? All right. Uh, Padma, go ahead uh, if you want to... Padma, are you there? Yes, Kamer, I'm there. Uh, yep. I was on mute. Um, thank you, Kamer, for asking that question because um, it means a lot for so many things to so many people. For me, it is financial freedom. And uh, I'm somebody working for a top consulting company planning for retirement, was looking out for income replacement, a passive income strategy and plan. While I was in the search, I stumbled upon a YouTube channel called Passive Income, in which Jay had given us interview. And after that, I started reading a lot and seeing more videos about that. That's how I came into contact with you, Kamir, in the month of June, July time frame. It's in the summer. So at that time, I got like one or two um, shares. And um, then the more and more I knew how it works, I understood the risk. I understood the returns. And I started investing more and more. Currently, I have about a close to a quarter million portfolio just in Max funds. I'm comfortable, I understand, and I'm completely in alignment with their strategy. So I'm not worried about the typical uh, name calling about these funds, NAV erosion, um, you know, Ponzi scheme, like of better word, a scam? No, it's it it's far from that. Like any investment, I have observed this investment also has its own risk. Sorry, as an investor, I need to go in and do my due diligence before investing. That's how I feel, Kamir. Yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, so we're still on question number one. There's four questions, and I want to give everybody the opportunity to answer this question. Uh, well, let's, let's just ask all the four questions now, and then we'll come back to it. So this way you understand, uh, you know, uh, first of all, I don't have any script or formats or anything like that. I just, I just, I just go with the flow. Um, that's how our show format is. So the second question, is, uh, first question is, what, the, uh, what does Tesla mean to you as an investor? And the second question is, does NAV erosion is real and does it bother you to invest in Tesla? Now, the reason why we talk about that because it seems like that's the big thing, but it's not a big thing to us. I ne like I told you, I never even heard of these things until somebody talked about it and I had to Google it and I still don't know. I still, I still don't know, all right? Conceptually, I don't know. Um, and then the third question is, what do you do with your dividends, you know, from Tesla? 
And the third one is how Tesla influenced your investment philosophy, psychology, and emotional well-being. So, you know, by, by owning this thing, it, it, it brought a lot of emotion out of us. And, uh, and we positive, good emotion. So Jay probably get a lot of the bad emotion, but we get, I'm just telling you, there's nothing but positive emotion. Those are the four questions, so to kind of give you an idea, but we're still on question number one. What does Tuscany mean to you as an investor? So if you uncue your mic, I'm looking through, I'm looking through a list here. If you uncue your mic, uh, if you're in Discord, you let me know and I'll, I'll call you and so you can give you a chance to talk. All right, go ahead. Okay, uh, Sarah, Sarah E, are you there? Sarah? So for those who don't know, there is some lag between YouTube and Discord. So there is a 30 second lag. All right, she is not there. Ian, do you want to jump in on this? Ian Lion? America. Oh, yeah, I can hear you, Sarah. Go ahead, Sarah. I had to reboot the uh, Discord for some reason. Okay. I am here. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, so. I don't know if you heard the question. So what does Tesla mean to you as an investor? Uh, well, it's hard to be happy with it at the moment, mm -hmm. but it's not Tesla's fault. It's the fault of the underlying. Yep. I understand exactly how it works, though. And I'm really grateful to um, Zega Financial and Jay for opening up this type of investment to retail investors. This used to be reserved for financial managers and private um, advisors used to do for high net worth clients only. So this is kind of a first. This was a, a groundbreaking thing for it to be open to retail investors. And um, I don't like what my portfolio, the Tesla part of my portfolio looks like at the moment. <laughs> but I do understand that when Tesla comes back up, oh, with the value of Tesla. So I'm hanging in there yeah. and we'll be adding to it when I have more capital to do so. It's yeah. not a um, an overnight thing. Yeah. So bit by bit, um, you know, I'll build it up. and. What I do with my dividends, I see the next question here. Well, no, no, we're, we're, we're going to stay with this one subject for now. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. If you want to, uh, well, we'll go to the next subject. Uh, SCSU 300, uh, what what does this Tesla mean to you as an investor? For more broadly in terms of high, these high-yield high yielding funds, yeah, uh, they just mean to me an opportunity to... Um, I think this goes in a little bit with the next question, but you know, what are we going to be doing with with our dividends? And I think for me, it's just bridging that gap between what my current income is and what I'm receiving in terms of distributions. And then what I do with those moving forward just creates an opportunity for me. Yeah. And I think that's the biggest thing right there is is I have this opportunity now, and I also have options. So what I do with that moving forward is r really creating additional potential income for myself or looking at other things that I could be doing within my life with these distributions. So for me, it really uh, opens up some additional doors and provides a, a gap for what I'm currently making moving forward and, and the future direction that I want to go. Wow, that's awesome, man. All right. Uh, anybody here want to jump in that question? Uh, like I said, just unmute your mic. I'm just scrolling down looking for uh, for the mute button. Okay, Rick. Hey, Rick, what's going on? Hey, come here. Going? Oh, so give, give a second. Rick got first random. Uh, I'll, I'll call you next. Okay, go ahead, Rick. Um, yeah, I just want to say is is like uh, for me, I am retired, mm -hmm. and uh, for the extra income, 
uh, like the last time I talked to you, I had like around 950. No, I had about 19, but now I'm up to 24 uh, shares of Telsey, and then I have other, you know, max funds. But uh, yeah. I'm getting about 2400 a month, and and uh, trying to grow that every month, and 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 it's really nice having the extra income, even though I'm reinvesting, but it. It's nice to have the extra income. I appreciate everything. Yeah, it's like, like it's like an insurance for you. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you, R random guy. Uh, <laughs> I love his name, random guy. Oh, by the way, SCSU is the third person to subscribe to my uh, to join us in Discord. He was the third person. <laughs> All right. So, SCI, uh, go ahead, random guy, go ahead. <laughs> hey, come here. Yeah, what's going on, uh, brother? Uh, another beautiful day in the big city. Yeah. Uh, I think for a lot of people that, you know, Tesla was our first exposure to high yield uh, ETFs. So yep. It opens your eyes up so you start actually looking at, you know, all the ETFs that are out there and yeah. comparing them. And it gives you, you know, it definitely uh, catapults you into a better understanding of how it works and, how it's impacted by the stock markets and the underlying uh, funds. So yeah. that's that's been a big one for me. Yeah, that that's awesome, man. Uh, you know, yeah, we, we'll 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 ask more and at the end of the question. I'm gonna wrap it up and talk about uh, how do how do we play it, how we play it, uh, and how we can take advantage of it. Uh, of course, everybody play it differently, but this is how I do it, and we'll talk about that too. Uh, random guy, I appreciate it. Anybody else? Okay. Um, all right. I'm going to go with question number two. Uh, and you just jump in. Anybody want to ready to answer this question? Does, uh, does nav erosion is real? So a lot of people talk about nav erosion all the time. I literally have no idea what that is. So, uh, you know, so I was like, you know, I try to figure it out. I still don't know. I, I, I'm going to be honest. I, I don't really don't know. All right. But I don't really care either. Because... What, what they're talking about is this. They're talking about, this is how they always explain it. This thing was $20, now it's $8. That's nav erosion, which I don't agree. Uh, I, I really don't agree. It's really the price, the stock price, because on a good day, it go up. That's not eroding. And then, and then if you use the same formula, it's not true with all the other yield max. So, like, how come, how come you don't call these guys nav erosion? You know? So there's a whole litany of a problem by using that word. So that's why I just don't I don't see the logic. It's essentially essentially the price is down, and that's what you say. The price is down, and it's like, uh, and why? Because Tesla is down. The underlining is down. That's the reason. I mean that I don't know what what else to explain. I don't. Know, that's the part that's just crazy. How? Why? Why is? It, but you know, people like to add more words, and I don't know what what's the advantage of saying is a nav erosion. What does that mean? What does that mean? So yeah. I prepped that because the question is: Does nav erosion is real, and does it bother you to invest in Tesla? Because you you have to imagine I'm a new investor and I don't know what the word means. So why does it bother me when I don't even know what it is? You see, what I'm talking about. All right. So Dwayne, do you want to jump in? Go ahead. Yeah, I'll, um, my my view on nav erosion is this: uh, nav erosion is real. It exists on every ETF that pays a dividend, and when they pay that dividend, it erodes the nav. The difference really is whether or not a fund suffers from nav, nav erosion or whether it manages its nav erosion. Most funds manage their nav erosion by paying a very small dividend. Uh, ones that, that pay a larger dividend have to figure out a way to manage their NAV erosion so that hopefully their, their fund can appreciate in price. And there are some funds that they have their NAV erosion planned out. And just because there's NAV erosion on a chart doesn't mean you don't make money. An example of this is, is CLM. CLM, if you look at that on a chart, it's got nav erosion over the years. Um, but it manages its nav erosion 
and the way it pays out so that if you actually, you know, put in your your dividend amount that you got, you know, you are making profit. I don't know what the exact percentage of the profit is. That's an example of managed nav erosion. When it comes to Tesla, um, you know, it's highly dependent on where you bought in versus the price now. If you bought in um, when it was at 12 something at the beginning part of the year, um, the nav erosion is fairly small. If you had the unfortunate uh, uh, luck of buying in at its high, well, that nav erosion is, is quite <coughs> evident. But that doesn't mean that the nav erosion will continue uh, unmanaged. Um, we're all looking at Tesla and saying, well, Tesla's got to go up. You know, and when Tesla goes up, it'll it'll pull this back up. And in six months, it could potentially be back up into the $15 range or something, uh, depending on Tesla doing its thing. So, you know, if the question is, does Tesla have nav erosion? Well, all funds have nav erosion. Does it suffer from nav erosion? No, well, it's kind of relative to when you bought in. Uh, but only the future will tell whether or not it continues to suffer from the nav erosion or whether it manages it. Yeah. Uh, anybody here want to... Let somebody uncue the mic. Uh, uh, SAX Master, uh, go ahead. Yeah, I'd say that was... Can you hear me? Yep. I'd say that was uh, pretty spot on. Um, I guess there's a few things to add to that. If So... Um, yeah, everything's got nav erosion, especially if, um, you know, they're paying out dividend. And what he was saying as well was um, if there's a higher dividend, it's got to kind of match, um, I guess, the underlying. And, and what, I love the yield max strategy. <clears throat> I think out of all the yield maxes, Tesla, um, I'm not sure if it's just the, the dividend that they give out that's causing it to go down a little bit more, or just strictly the 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 evaluation of Tesla, but I think if we're just uh, uh, the Tesla uh, ticker is fairly new, and so we don't have a lot of data to to look at. You know, looking back, I think if this was an you know, once we look five years down the road of Tesla, we'll probably be looking at it being you know double the amount for the principal uh, share, and uh, so it is good to kind of dog house average down. Uh, what he was saying as well is, you know, of course, if you bought at the high, it's going to take a lot longer to catch up. But eventually, you probably will, as long as Tesla's successful and we're in a bull market. Um, of course, if it's bearish and Tesla's going down, I mean, it's going to take even a heavier hit with Tesla. But with that long, long-term goal and vision, um, you'll probably come out uh, uh, prosperous in the end with Tesla. But just right now, it's looking a little, uh, little dicey. But if that's only those who kind of have a short-term mindset with it. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm just going through. It's just uncue your mic, and if I can't see you and you uncue and then I didn't call you out, uh, just let me know, and I'll it just yeah, just say something, and then I'll I'll give you a chance to talk. Oh, hey, uh, Eric, uh, go ahead, Eric. Yeah, my thoughts is just sit on your hands and wait. If you're if you want to hold it on the way down, you can. My thoughts is just jump out, wait until it goes down. Uh, and then it's, you know, in the rebound state where it starts to, you know, you turn back up, then jump back in with the same amount of money. Don't do anything with those funds unless you want to, you know, invest into something else. But just my thoughts is sit on your hands until it rebounds and then jump back in. And actually, you can actually buy more shares when you get back in with the same amount of money. Well, there's not much time to rest. Oh, somebody has an open mic. Uh, uh, just uh, Jeffrey, just, do you want to say something? Yeah, just, just uh, I'll call you out after this. Get, uh, give me a sec. Go ahead. Go ahead, Eric. Yeah. Yeah, so my thoughts is jump. If you're going to jump, jump out. Well, you should have jumped out the day before the earnings. Um, but if you'd have jumped out then and just wait it, uh, wait until after. I would say wait until after the declaration uh, next month. Um, that way, when the stock you know pays its dividends and it takes another hit, um, and it's, you know, low sevens, I think that's a perfect opportunity to get in and, and you know, get a really good investment uh, return on dividend uh, as well as a declaration payment. 
versus sitting and just riding a wave out and just losing money all the way down until the declaration date. Yep. Good, uh, Jeffrey. Yeah, Jeffrey's son, uh, son Jeffrey's son. You un uh, unmute your mic earlier. Do you, you want to say something? Uh, Jeffrey, are you there? Go no, he said he's good. Oh, he's good? He okay. said he's good. Um, okay, yeah. go ahead. Uh, Noblito, do you want to say something? No, I'm just telling you what he texted. Okay. All right. Anybody else want to jump in here? Uh, no? All right. I'll come back and, 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 and put all this together. Okay. Uh, can yeah. yeah, go ahead. I can, can put this Sarah. Yeah, Sarah, Anyone else besides... I kind of wish that um, Tesla Tesla would skip the next distribution entirely. And the reason I would like that to happen is just to get that preserve the capital a little bit more until mm -hmm. it does start to turn back up. I realize that would piss off a lot of people, but I think we're getting our capital drain, 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 drain. A little bit of support would be helpful. That's That's just me, though, you know. I mean... Many people may not be worried by seeing it go to seven, but okay. I kind of am. Okay. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. <laughs> Lou, you agreed. Okay. Uh, hey. Okay. Um, anybody else in here want to say anything? Okay. Uh, let's go to the next question here. What do you do with the dividend from Tesla? So some of you, some of you are playing it, uh, uh, reinvest, and some of you are doing something else. What I'm curious, if you're doing something else, tell us, you know, tell us your background. Like there's some people, uh, I'll give you a quick story. And this is why I love Tesla. And then, uh, and then I'll, I'll, you know, and then I'll turn it back over to you. So you have a chance to talk. And um, so there's a, a, a school teacher. She's a uh, substitute teacher. For those who don't know, substitute teacher get paid by the hour. And they only get paid if they go to work. And uh, so she doesn't make that much. And they don't make that much. Uh, <laughs> she don't work that much and she doesn't make that much. And the only reason why she's going to work, she's in her 70. And because her husband can't work. Because her husband, um, you know, he's a disabled veteran. And, you know, he has, you know, the VA money and, and retirement money. All he can do is pay essentially the mortgage, the car payments, all those necessary stuff. But they don't have money to go on dates. Uh, if she's here, I would ask her to tell you the, her story, but she's not here, so I'm going to tell her story to you. And uh, and so he, and all she wants to do is go to work as a substitute teacher, take that money, and take her husband on dates. So they can go eat dinner, so they go uh, crack a barrel, that was their favorite restaurant, eat breakfast. They just, she just wants to spend quality time with her husband. She, what she doesn't want to do is work. And uh, so when she saw my YouTube channel, and I was all in on Tesla. She literally went all in on Tesla, and she only bought Tesla. I don't know how much she paid for Tesla uh, because she only won $2,000, and she got $2,000 of Tesla now. And um, I'm pretty sure she threw money and more money into it. Uh, but she got she got $2,000 of Tesla, and she quit her job. That was it. Now now she just spent her time with her fam uh, with her husband, and she's going to get breakfast. And then that's what she does with the Tesla money, uh, the dividends. So there's a lot of people like that. There's a lot of stories like that. Um, you know, people are trying just, you know, paying uh, bills or they, they reinvest back into uh, to Tesla or they buy other fun. For me, I do. I, I buy a lot of Tesla because that's what that's what I like. And then and then I buy other funds, too. I have six thousand dollars of Tesla, but I also have a thousand dollars in QQY. I have over eighteen hundred shares, not a thousand, but eight hundred shares of clips and stuff like that if you combine my entire portfolio i get about six thousand dollars of monthly dividends but that's only possible because i i put the money back into the system to invest it again all right to make more money so that's what i do with it with that i'm going to turn it back to the to the crowd here for sharing that story uh first of all do you all like that story uh so eric go ahead uh since you unmute your mic i'll give you a chance to talk again yeah, pretty cool story. Mine is slightly different. Um, I take literally 50% of my uh, Tesla, bought a pool, a $100,000 pool in the backyard, and let it just pay it for me, pay it off, it, you know, pay it off, and then took the other and just reinvested it back into Tesla. 
How, how much how much total you get from Tesla? I'm sorry, I missed that. I had 32, 3,800 shares. Okay, so about like a thousand something dollar. It was like sixteen hundred or something like that. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, and, and you used to pay for the pool, of... and then the yeah, the... yeah, I got a free pool in the backyard. <laughs> hey, that's good, man. You got kids? Uh, you got? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yep. See, good, good, for, good for the kids, man. Oh, right, that's awesome. Um, we got one guy. He was a police officer, and he's like, man. I, I don't need to go to work anymore because he works as a bouncer. He he has two jobs. He works as a police officer and then he works as a bouncer. He's like, man, I'm risking my life for this thing all the time. Okay. Yeah, oh, that's uh, cool. Hey, uh, go ahead, Stoic uh, 211. You just unmute your mic. Go ahead. And... Hey, come here. Yeah, I can hear you. Hey. Yep. Oh, great. So, I don't know. I, I don't know about the rest of y'all, but... Um... I've been in investing for quite a while. I tried doing like the crypto thing. I tried yeah. doing options. I tried doing like, you know, day trading stuff. Yeah. And just this past uh, year and a half ago, I think I started getting into dividends Yeah. because it's more of a guaranteed source of income for the long-term investments. Yeah. So then I stumbled across you all with the Tesla <laughs> and it seems like, uh, you know, doing the dividends on steroids really. Yeah. Yep. And if you actually project out your potential earnings, if you just reinvest the the dividends into itself, yep, it uh, you know, it becomes a great big mountain pretty quick. Yeah. So I mean, if you do it long enough to the point where you get to a level where you're getting an income that's suitable for you, I think that it makes a lot of sense in a retirement type of scenario <clears throat> to go into other funds if it's yield max funds or you know, something more stable like a SCHD or whatever. Mm -hmm. But you can qu pretty quickly develop a very big, stable uh, retirement package for yourself. And that's kind of my goal. Yeah, and, and, and you you are one of the many examples. We, we call the Joanna's fa Fund. Joanna, she's one of our, uh, you know, you know our, one of our moderator here in our channel, one of our officer, And um, she buy pretty much every year max fund. So a lot of time we, we, we mention Tesla a lot because Tesla is the flagship, you know, of yield max. And not only that, uh, Tesla is the cheapest, you know, and that's where that's right. what you know, that's where we come in. You know, that's why we're talking about it. But, you know, Joanna, she diversified. She bought all kind of funds, uh, everything. I mean, you you mentioned you mentioned yield max. She owned. It. I, I don't I think the only one she doesn't own is this Disney. I tell you, too, I'm still trying to find a person who owned Disney. Whoever owned this, though, hey. Put in chat that you own Disso because I I don't know anybody who owns Disso, <laughs> but if you know so but but there's people out there uh, diversify it so but it's 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 high yields you know it don't have to be Tesla you have more choices right. now you know not yeah. only that you don't even have to be yield max it could be Defiance could be Crane Share could be you know Rex Share could be a whole bunch of other funds now you know what I mean yeah I think you had a target of a thousand dollars a month from each fund yep that yep that's my goal is? yeah yeah yeah, so I'm, it's pretty, I'm, I'm pretty so, quickly attainable, you know. Yeah, oh, it, it's moving really fast at the compounding, the power oh. compounding. Okay, so yeah. uh, well, I should have known. Jinda owned pretty much everything. <laughs> Jinda, <laughs> matter of fact, Jinda, Jinda, yeah, you, you're a clown. Jinda is a clown. Uh, he just, he just post, text me. He's just like, hey, I own Disney. <laughs> this so, <laughs> uh, public talks too. He said he owned this so. <laughs> so there's two people. <laughs> Two people own Disso. Right, there you go, Jay. Jay, if you want to know who owned Disso, those two right there. <laughs> All right. You know, I, I have about um, you know, over twenty thousand shares of Tesla. Yeah. But what I like, what I like to do is definitely reinvest. You know, you know, um, more shares back into Tesla if you get more, right? But then wait, twenty thousand share? You said? Well, yeah, over wow. twenty thousand share. Twenty thousand share. Let's let's see how much before you continue. Let's see how much you make. You make about eleven thousand dollars a month <laughs> for, yes, in January. <laughs> but you know right. my goal, of course. But, but yeah. what I like to do is, um, I like to you know reinvest in the Tesla because I want that you know ten thousand, eleven thousand to go up every month, of course. Yeah. But what I really want, what I like doing, as you might have seen, is I like going into safer things like the the SCHD, the, yeah. the um, dividend growth funds. Yeah. I really enjoy and. So that's just yeah, that's just my comment. Just to reinvest into something more, and also back into the underlying too, like the T 
Yeah, uh, so you buy it online. Yeah, you, dude, you bought uh, you you copy my my portfolio. You bought uh, what was it? Uh, Neo. Neo SoFi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I, I but that's why I like this community because everybody has good ideas. And another gentleman recommended something today called TSLP, right? Which yeah, yeah, that's a good fun. Yeah. TSLP that's Cove. Yeah. <laughs> I bought I bought that one too, and some other ones too. But um. No, I just, it's a good community, so I, it's, it's, I like to borrow people's ideas, and yeah. so far it's, it's paying off. Well, hey, dude, are you going to copy my plan? So, you know, I, I want to own all of them. Eventually, like 10 years from now, I'm going to own all of them, every single one. Anything income fund, I'm owning it. But I'm only, only going to own $1,000 worth of it. Not necessarily 1,000 yeah. share, but $1,000 worth. So, I like uh, it. So uh, $1,000 income. So I got $1,000 income from everywhere, you know. <laughs> That's a great idea. I like it. And like you said, to get paid on that crucial third week. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that's, why, that's why YMAG is so important. Hey, Jay, if you listen to this, man, one of the best decisions that you made, we told Rex share this. So the same video format that we're doing, the, the love message to, to, to you, Jay, but we also did a love message to Rex share. And uh, I think they listened. So uh, I don't know. They, they, you know, the, the vice president of Rexia is like, hey, good video, man. Really appreciate it. And, um, and uh, so, yeah. So Rexia, you know, FEPI, F-E-P-I. Uh, that's somewhere around the third week. <laughs> four, more toward the fourth week. But, yeah. So we, we talk about that because for whatever reason, uh, a lot of our community care about this weekly pay. So you have to understand why we care. If you come from a hard labor kind of job, you care about these weekly pay because that's how we get paid. We get paid by the labor, by the work. We don't, we don't have a salary job. You go to work, let's say you, you go to get a bid for, you know, somebody want to build a garage. You go to that house and you get a bid and she get like four different quotes. And then, and then she say, okay, $700 up front, I'll give you $700 when it's done. There's your 1400 and done. If you don't go to work, you're not going to get 1400 You're just not going to get it. And uh, and she's going to give it to somebody else. And, um, yeah, so... <laughs> so, the uh, yeah, it's, it's anyway. Uh, so, we get paid weekly. It's important to us. I, I, I'm just, I don't know how to explain it. You, you, I guess you have to be a working class or something for, for me to explain. I, I don't know how to explain why it's so important to us. But a lot of people in our community want to get weekly pay. And since all your fun is in second week, it kind of messes all up, you know, because essentially if you own all the 18 fun in yield max, and right, notice I said 18, not 19, all the 18 fun in yield max, guess what? You're all getting paid in second week. So that's why we don't want to own all of those things. But the best thing ever happened uh, in the, the last week is you, you introduced Y max, and now you're going to introduce Y mags, and they're going to pay third week. That is unbelievable. Oh, my God. Mind blown, mind blown. This is unbelievable, unbelievable. That's why we're so happy. We are so happy about it. Uh, well, I really appreciate that you actually came up with that idea. All right. Um, all right, so anybody else want to jump in on, on this? All right, let's go to the third question. Oh, and I'm sorry, that was the third question. Let's go to the last question and I'll summarize and put it all together here. How Tesla influence your investment philosophy, psychology, and emotional? There's people who like an emotional wreck. Well, not in our community, but there's people like I read in YouTube and stuff like that. YouTube space is like everybody. And Discord is only, you know, only the people we want to be hanging out on our Discord, hang out on Discord. So, uh, so, um, and, uh, so anybody want to jump in that question? Uh, I'll, I'll give it to uh, Padma. Padma, I know you want to answer this question. What was the question coming? Uh, the last question, the one you type up, uh, how Tesla influenced your investment philosophy, psychology, and emotional well-being? Oh, that's a very important question, right? Yeah. Um, ultimately, like, you know, um, whether it is um, investment, job, um, anything that we do um, boils down to your well-being, uh, especially emotional well-being. Um, like maybe because of the, you know, where we are in life, like personally me and, uh, some of, some, some of the people that I come to interact in our discord, yeah. the age group, the culture and, the the psychology and the investment style, uh, we, we are focused 
in getting the cash flow yeah uh, the the income replacement uh, that aspect of tesla um, is very very critical it is need of the heart um, it, it it's not that um, you know some of us may not have wealth or savings but what we are looking for is a solution to the problem like when i retire how mm-hmm. i am to solve uh, the problem of paying my bills and uh, taking care of my uh, expenses and uh, life need yeah so um that is tesla so when i was looking around and i was looking to uh fa- for passive income solutions um, like time and again i get hit by annuities and uh, you know and then the bonds uh, and those kind of instruments and honestly speaking like you know you need to have minimum 2 to 3 million dollars like if you need to have a 10000 uh you know 10000 to be replaced as an income monthly yeah. so that's that's very very a tough like a high bar for people who uh, you know most of us um in my shoes right mm-hmm. so i i was looking for um a solution that i don't have to depend on annuities pay high commission to the annuity uh, annuity management companies i don't have to depend on bonds which pay very less um because even the inflation especially the recent inflation right um wouldn't cut it in a long run so we need a fund or a solution that can provide me 24% to 36% net net i'm not talking about gross mm-hmm. so then tesla was my answer or elmax was my answer okay so that the, the reason i'm saying uh, my targeting uh, my target ratio is 36 percent because um there is always this fluctuation there is always this fluctuation in the uh, v- variable in the dividend it may come yeah. uh, over a period of time especially like high yield over a period of time may reduce so you need to plan for this you need to be aware of this um nature of this one how it would go as it progresses in the maturity of the fund's life cycle yeah. so you continue to uh, reinvest you you continue to reinvest and then you kind of um do the gap right like um like for example right now somebody said that you know they are targeting 10000 uh somebody said they're targeting 5000 um what if that 5000 and 10000 doesn't pan out due to uh the market condition uh the options outcome uh, you know distro uh, gets reduced uh, so on and so forth so we we definitely need to think about that and come up with a strategy uh we we kind of you know uh, if this is an income replacement i mean i i, I was uh, also in the same dilemma if this is an income replacement then if if my income starts reducing how do i make up for that right like i i'm yeah, planning yep. for 5000 a month and then suddenly like you know the uh, distro reduces how do i make up for that then like you know being in part of this community discord we talk to uh, our fellow um, community members uh, we brainstorm nobody is advising anybody uh, here in this community we are not financial ad- advisors we just share our experiences yep. and then we we come out with our own strategy we do our research and we 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 kind of draw our own investment plan and then what we what we understood is we need to plan for reinvesting in the in this fund or similar funds uh to make up for the reduction in the dividend over the period of time that may happen yeah plan for uh you know uh, takes a portion of it live your life pay your bills or whatever if that's what you are planning to do and currently for example in my personal situation i'm not i've retired yet so mm-hmm. i don't need a distribution uh for my uh, you know taking out and paying my bills so i am reinvesting 100% uh you know th- this gives me a leg up right yep. like when i am retired um i have some extra cushioning padding done uh, up front uh 
um, that that's what I'm trying to do. And um, you know, m most of us like you know what we also do is we kind of like uh, take the opportunity whenever uh, the market goes down, the underlying stock goes down, and the price of these funds um, goes down. We kind of um, double up our investment into these funds so that uh, we accumulate as many shares as possible into these funds, uh, you know, when we can. That way, we double up our resources. Like, for example, in the, in the, in the nutshell, uh, if somebody has a, a need for 10,000 as an income, it's always good to have something like 15,000. So that, like, you know, over a period of time, if it reduces, you have some cushioning so that's 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 something that it influenced me Tesla influenced me yeah. in in that like i i don't need to go to a financial advisor to manage my um financial strategy for retirement i, I kind of manage my own um with these it, it's it's an easy solution for me and uh, like yeah. you said it, it 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 is a mindset it's it's a freedom come here i don't know if you can understand this yeah um Oh, one of my greatest story, man. I, I uh, it's first time I met Padma. She's very scientific, so she's a scientist. And I, I, I can't say your name of your company, isn't it? You're pretty famous. Uh, no. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the name. Yeah, I'm not gonna say it, but she worked for a very big company, uh, like world famous. I mean, it's not like something small, you know, like something big. And uh, if I if I say it, you know it. That's how famous it is. Uh, anyway, she's she's one of the scientists there, and uh, and so she. Um, and she came into the Discord and she's asking a whole bunch of questions. And it was just very, you know, and she was just like baby stepping. And we're trying to explain to her, you know, I say, hey, this this stuff is going to give you dividends, uh, you know. And I think this is like July or something. And we're all cloud nine back then in the summer. During the summertime, we're all cloud nine because they're paying like 80 cents, 90 cents on a dollar, you know. So we were like, yeah, you don't have to buy it. I mean, but. But here's, you know, you put some money in, and she put a little bit in there. She put here a little bit in there until Fidelity called her because she has some money in, in her investment portfolio. She owns SCHD and a whole bunch of other funds too. And Fidelity manager called her trying to get her to buy bond. <laughs> she was telling the story. They are like, these Fidelity managers are trying to get me to buy bond because it's safer. And I'll tell you, what happened is she moved her money and bought uh, Tessie. I don't... I think you start off with only like what three thousand or two thousand shares, something like that. Uh, very small. Uh, uh, I actually in the month of July and August is when I started buying. Yeah. Uh, at, at that time, it was in like single digits, like few stocks, one, <laughs> two, three. I yeah. used to buy, buy, yeah. um, and then like slowly, like um, uh, I kind of like the more and more I I became familiar with the concept. My understanding yeah. improved. Um, and I was completely comfortable with the risk and... Uh, I, I, I think it was August when your first big dividend payment. Yes. Ha have yes. you ever have you ever go hunting with somebody who never hunt before? You know, we there's this, we call it like the hunter shake. Like, you, you just, your body just shaking and shivering. Like, you, it's like, uh, you know, just... It, it, it's crazy, but that's what, that's what Padma got. When she got paid for the first time... She was like, "Thank you, thank you! Oh my God!" She was. It was like it was like a teenager, you know. She, she was like a teenager running around. <laughs> it, it, does it feel like that? What does uh, it feel it, like? It did. It did come here. Like the money that we are talking about is not small money, right? Like yeah. you know, I don't want to say like many of us in this community work uh, hourly wages. Yeah. They have to work very hard even yeah. to get like hourly wages. Yeah. And. Like like a clockwork, like a charm, uh, month after month you get paid this dividends in thousands. Yeah, in thousands. Literally thousands. And uh, if you're fortunate and if you can, if you have some reserve cash, of uh, people who who can who have that affordability invest in in hundreds or fifties, uh, right? Yeah. In thousands. Like and some people, there are few people here who have invested in millions as as well. Oh, yeah, Ima yeah the, the, the cash flow that you get to see is unimaginable. I've worked for a Fortune 500 company for 25 years and earned a reputation and worked hard to have that salary currently. Yeah. Right? 
it took 25 years for me to get here yeah and if if it took you like three months to get <laughs> it, it three months to get that money yeah and, you know it, it's 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 definitely uh, mystical and magical yeah right um, and um, honestly like you know at, at the same time i do not want people to think there is no risk involved in this and it is just going to you know uh, grow 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 or keep giving yeah. giving we, we need to totally understand like yeah. any invest this principle is not just for tesla yeah. this principle is not just for high yield alone this principle is for any investment yeah. even in a there is a when you invest there is a risk involved you need to understand what that risk is and then you have to come up with your mitigation plan how you are going to manage that risk so that's my yeah. uh, experience here i've learned and i'm sharing with you guys yeah it's awesome uh this oh uh, hey anybody else want to jump in and give give your experience by owning tesla what does it feel like when you own tesla uh that you know that like run a rush you know that like you did something you accomplished something you know like it's just unbelievable uh, i ran a marathon i'll tell you one of the greatest thing about marathons is actually finish the marathon that feeling is unbelievable just total exhaustions and it just it's such a adrenaline rush you know and um it's just great feeling uh oh sarah do you want to say something go ahead hey, Mayor. Yeah. yeah sure um so i've dca'd some into tesla mm -hmm. but now I'm going to let it kind of um, pay itself off for a while. Mm -hmm. But I'm also using the um, disbursements to um, diversify. I'm yeah. very happy with the NVIDIA that yeah. I um, bought with Squee. Yeah. Um, I've also bought a little bit of Litecoin. Yeah. And I've also invested some in gold. Yeah. So I'm using this money to go into other things that are producing money. Or will produce more money, so it's like free extra money to use for that. So eventually, I'm going to grow the portfolio, but I'm also moving into other assets, and it's I don't need the monthly income, so I'm using this money to put into other money sources, basically, and it's great. Yeah. So, so I mean, other than Tesla, every other yield max fund is doing terrific. Yeah. So it's just a matter of the underlying stock. And so we just have to wait this out. It'll be okay. Yep. Uh, Stoic, do you want to say you something? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Sarah. Uh, Stoic, do you want to say something? You have your on mic. Yeah, just yeah. Uh, following up on what the other people have been saying, you know, mm -hmm. um, just sitting here with an Excel spreadsheet, and I don't know if anybody else has done this, but if you project it forward, right, mm -hmm. If assuming that the dividend remains at 55 cents mm -hmm. and you had an average price per share of $12 mm -hmm. in nine years, if you, if you start with, if you start today with like 200 shares and you didn't put any more money into it and you just dripped it back in with an average price of $12 per share mm -hmm. within nine years, you'd be making $13,000 yeah. just by letting it do its thing, you know? So for somebody who's, you know, I've got, uh, 20 something years to retirement um you know you can imagine what that could turn into on yourself if you well some somebody if you now i i don't i don't know your numbers but my numbers somebody say we'll get seven only take seven years to get a million dollar uh portfolio yeah, I mean, it depends, so it depends on what you're starting with and yeah. how many uh you know how many how much you're dripping back into it yeah. and so i put i put about a thousand income. 500 a month into my portfolio a thousand five hundred yeah. month uh and my average like twelve dollar and something cents uh twelve thirty or something and then if i just keep doing buy and reinvest and all that stuff in seven years i will i will make uh one million dollar and uh yeah i i could see it if you asked me six months ago i was like i i don't believe you but now yeah it's getting because i'm, a, I'm on my way to make ten thousand so like so yeah. it's reachable uh, I'm I mean, I'm, si I'm making six thousand a month right now. On my way to seven thousand by by the end of the year, I'm going to get ten thousand. You know. Hmm. Obviously, it depends upon the stock of Tesla if yep. it uh, stays volatile like it is now, yep. or if it kind of settles down or whatever. You know, if it plummets, if yeah. it takes off. Uh, yeah. You know, you've, I've seen you uh, having a lot of people coming at you worried about nav erosion and. Uh, 
uh, if it splits, yeah. all that stuff. Uh, they yeah, just pe- don't understand people, how people, it's work. Yeah, attack me at that all the time, but they don't realize I literally don't understand. It's like, it's like, so when you don't understand, I don't have any personal stake at it, so I have no emotional connection to it, you know, like, so it's like calling me, uh, it's like, it's like talking a mechanic and saying, hey, your car is poop. I'm like, okay, but it works. You know, I mean, I, I go from, from my house to work and come back. I'm not a mechanic, so why would I care about whatever's, you know, until it breaks, then I'll, I'll worry about it. But right now it doesn't break, so it, it moves, so yeah. Oh, well, Michael, I mean, the, I'm sorry. No, sorry, I was just going to say, for me, I think it's kind of one of those, it, it sounds too good to be true type of scenarios, mm-hmm. you know. There's all kinds of YouTube channels out there where they say, follow this trading pattern and you'll become rich beyond your wildest dreams. This is, you know, mathematically, yeah. assuming a lot of things remain constant, a great way to reach your goals, whatever they might be. So mm-hmm. it might be oversimplified by the calculation that I just ran, but, I mean, it's great, you know. There's no real downside. Every instrument that you invest in financially has some kind of a trade-off, some kind of a risk, and people are trying to understand the ins and the outs of the thing. So, you know, having a channel like this and a Discord where people talk about it and maybe alleviate some of their concerns is a great, great thing you're doing here, you know? No, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Michael, are you, I look like you're ready to talk, Michael. You're, you're excited. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? I'm so what do you want to tell Jay, man? We made this whole YouTube video just for him, you know? What do you want? Yeah. Yeah. What do you- That's just- <laughs> Yo, Jay, if you're listening, give me a call. I got some concerns. Got some hey, job? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, uh-huh. uh, did, did you by chance catch that retire on dividends channel on YouTube? He I watched, actually I- met, he, he yeah. mentioned you. We're friends. You didn't know that? No, I didn't know. No, he, no. He, he's he, in our Discord. What are you talking about? Just, just- Who is it? Reveal him. He's actually in our YouTube uh, commenting too today. Yeah, he he oh, don't he, he hang out with our Discord. All oh, you do is just yeah. tag him. Did, did, you, did you see his prediction? Uh, yeah. We're at forty cents. Yeah, yeah, we talk about it. Yeah, about that forty cent mark. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then I don't know if you saw last night. Uh, I had the wonderful uh, lesson on technical analysis. Yeah. Yep, that's what uh, uh, Casey. He's also now Discord. He ain't got with us too. Yeah, that was Claude, man. He gave me some. Oh, Claude! Lessons. Oh, Claude! Yeah, yeah. of course. Claude's oh, our son. Say he's our teacher. Yeah, yeah. He, he, yeah. He's got some fun through there. And then Lion jumped in, and yeah. he was predicting stuff like crazy. It was a, uh, it was a good time. Okay. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Okay, here, I learned man. a lot. I learned a lot from Claude yeah. and Lion. Yeah. On TA. Not TNA, but TA. <laughs> you guys talked about that last <laughs> night. Yes, he, he clarified it, not TNA. That's right. I didn't know if you caught all that. Yeah, we did. I did. All right, awesome, Michael. Do you want to say anything else? Or? Uh, just I hope that 40 cents prediction is good, right? Cause he well, I, I predict it to be higher. So, but, but that's, Do you really? Yeah. Okay. okay. Because we, we had a successful trade last week, and we, we're going we're gonna to win this trade this week. Now, we, there's still one more week. We don't know. But I don't know what happened the first week. But yeah, we should do. We should. We should. There should be no problem giving us fifty cents. Do you have a spreadsheet that tracks that tracks that, and you come up with that predictable number? No, it's not that difficult, man. It's not that difficult at all. All you do is go to their website, look at the option trading. Are they going to mm-hmm. win that trade or lose that trade? Mm-hmm. If they win that trade, just add the number together. Yeah, yeah. I show you. I show you real quick since we're talking about it. You know. Okay, here okay. I have your max over. All you do okay. is click on the, it's, it's just a, a best guess. I mean, retired dividend can't, because obviously you have to work in yield max to, to know the background. You don't know how much they pay. You don't know what the premium is. You know, you, there's a lot of things you don't know, but you can ballpark it. Like here, there's a 220, uh, so this is the put, this is the cover call. Uh, this, I mean, it's a synthetic call right here, the 220, and this is the synthetic call so these two are long term these are the cover call for this week you got uh, two, uh, two, uh, 225 and 222 dollars but I, I get that but I, I, I see that how do you turn that into 40 cents how do you calculate that to be 40 well you take cents you take cents? you take all this total number uh, let's say this 84,000 share all right 
uh, 84 million. There's 84 million shares. And let's say they make 70 million. Oh, let's say they make 80 million. Uh, yeah, let's say they make uh, 74 million. Well, that's about 90%. If, if, if you have 84 million and you made 84 million that year, that month, that means everybody's going to get a dollar. That makes sense? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's that's all. That's all he's doing. That's all. That's all we do. We used to do that. The Khmer Channel used to. We used to do price prediction, uh, along with uh, retiring dividends. You know, because yeah. I have I have half. I have Kenny. I have Claude. I have all these option traders. They do option trading all the time. So we used to do price prediction, and we just get around together and sit down and talk about what's what's the price is. But the problem, you know, when we have we have full time jobs, so we got busy. Most of us in the military, so. We got really, really busy, so we just couldn't do it. And plus, retired dividend do a really good job, so we just watch his. We just use his number. It's much easier, so we don't have to do any work. But before, yeah, before we just come here and do it and calculate it and add on to it, and then we just do a prediction based on that. So that's okay. this week, uh, and then and then last week, and then you just add the week together, and that's roughly the total amount. And then you said, okay, what's the percentage of that to number of shares? And uh, now, when we when we start doing it way back during the summer, spring and summer, there was an 84 million share, and Tesla was not was not eight eight hundred million net asset. It was only like 200 million or 100 million. It was smaller, so it was easy. Like the number calculation was very very easy, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's pretty much it. You take whatever okay. the income it is and divide by the number of share outstanding. And that's that's how you get the uh, the the dividend. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna update my spreadsheet see if I can get that same number. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you're gonna be plus or minus because you don't know what yield, what the premium they made, and you don't know what they're doing. You know, like you don't have the the exact detail. But however, it's pretty close. I mean, it's much closer than some somebody throw somebody did one of these shaking thing and like here, here's an eight ball. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. right, 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 right. Okay. Does anybody have any uh, any other um, uh, comments, c concern, question? Okay, uh, so let me go back to Jay here. All right, so let me, for those who just jump in, wow, there's 290 people watching this? That's crazy. Like, hit, hit Jay, uh, so the name of the show is called Love Message to Jay. Uh, Zeka, uh, who's Jay? He's the Zeka Financial. He's the co-founder. He's also the the manager of Yieldmax. He he owned Yieldmax. This is the guy. This is the guy right here who made all the decision. So this is a love message. So love message. It's a positive message. We want to tell him that um, hey, you're doing great jo job, man. You you put a lot of effort. You your life work in this option trading business. You understand hedging very well and all that stuff. You wrote books on these things, and and you, when you when you wrote these books and you talk about, hey, I wanna I wanna provide this service, democratize. You used to democratize before this service to the mass. Well, we are the mass. We we literally are the mass, and we are responding back to you. We are responding back to you, and you heard all the people talking about it. And, and if you don't believe me, just come into our Discord anytime. You got the links. Just jump in and hang out with one of us. You don't have to use your real name. We don't need to know who you are. You can call yourself Superman and just hang out. Uh, you know, one of, one of the executives from Rex Share hang out in our Discord, and he always said, thank you. Just, he just hang out. Drink beer with us. Ha have a cool beer and drink and talk about stuff. Random stuff doesn't matter. And you're going to see it. These are the real audience people. We're not, you know, if you ask me and said, hey, man, you want to do an interview? I say, I'm going to, like I said at the beginning of the show, I said, no, no, thank you. I appreciate it. I, I'm not seeking fame or fortune. I don't, I don't seek subscriber. You don't have to join my Patreon. You don't have to super chat. You don't have to do any of that stuff. I, you know, we just want to convey our message. I'm trying to help a community to get out of poverty. This is one of the best ways to get out of poverty. I thought about being a lawyer. I was like, when I get out of the military, I signed up, you know, I was going to law school and all that stuff. I was like, I'm going to be a lawyer. And then I realized, man, lawyers, I'm just putting up fires. But if I can teach my community, I can teach our community, the, the village, the global village, 
how to be an investor, guess what? All those problems are going to be minimized. Because you're not, you're not going to be a drunk driver and try to be an investor at the same time. You're not going to be a single mom and try to be an investor. You're going to try to minimize your, your collateral, your damage. Because if you're nickel-diming uh, you know, Tesla, if you worry Tesla, like price drop from $8 to $9, trust me, you're not, you don't want to go to jail. You don't want to start beating up people who start on a fight. You don't want to start robbing people. You don't want to start cheating, lying, stealing. You just want to be a good dude or do it. And that's why being an investor is important. That's why I, I, I want to help the community by teaching them how to be an investor. Now, there's all kinds of investment vehicle. All kinds of investment vehicle. But this is one of the best ways. One of the best ways to get out of the system, to get out of the poverty. Because you just, all you do is take that little money that you have, because you don't make that much. Well, we don't make that much. Jay, I know you make a lot, but we, you know, you know. and uh, I, don't, I made a lot. But there's people out there who do not make a lot. They only make $30,000, $50,000. I don't know if Phoenix Mike is in Discord. Phoenix Mike work in parking lot attendance. Phoenix Mike, are you here? Can we talk about you for a second? If just uncue your mic if you if it's okay. So I'm so he works as a parking lot, not not as the attendant. He's actually the 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 maintenance guy. He's the guy who cleaned the parking lot. He make about three thousand dollars. Him and and I don't know how much he make in that job, but he said he had two jobs. I've got what the other job is. He had two jobs, and both of them combined, he make three thousand dollars a month. Guess what? His dividends pay him three thousand two hundred a month. It's such a relief. It's such a relief for him. He is so happy. He is so happy. That's that's why he's here. We're all here for this reason. Because Jay, what you don't understand is that your life works save lives. You save so many people out there. You give people hopes. You give people freedom. You give people an opportunity. You most importantly, you give husband and father back to their family you give them time and and that's the beauty of it that's the beauty of your fun it's it and so we we want to thank you we really appreciate that you put this together because if you didn't do this the investment community would not have a high yield dividends well they would have crane share and that will be it. I don't know how popular crane share is to the world. I don't know if crane share can pull that out. But then, then we have to not, you know we have to go buy all the other one. Chep P, Chep Q, CLM, COF, you know SCHD. It range from three percent to twelve percent, you know. But that's going to take us a long time to get out of the poverty system. But this fun, we can get out of it. I'm going to tell you why it's so beautiful. For those out there in the YouTube space and, and, and Discord watching me in there, I'm going to tell you exactly. I'm going to give you the answer. Why this fun is so beautiful. And not only is it beautiful, I'm going, to give, I'm going to tell you why Tesla is so beautiful. Tesla is really, it's perfect. It's, it's the best thing ever happened to society. You have to put yourself in a situation. If you say that if you say that this doesn't work, then you, your mind is already clutter. You're coming in. You're not coming in with a fresh set of, of ideas. So imagine you, you, just like me, when I first came into the investment community, and I don't know anything about investment. I opened a child swap account for the first time. Nervous as hell. I put a $1,000 a month for my checking account into it. And I don't know what to buy. I have $1,000 a month. Can you imagine if you are from that situation, brand new, of all the ETF out there, of all the funds out there, everything out there, I want you to give yourself this perspective. You essentially can buy this fund at $8.67 right now tomorrow morning 
You can buy this 867, maybe even cheaper by tomorrow, maybe 850. I don't know what the closing price is uh, tomorrow. You can buy this at $8.67 and it's going to pay you a double digit yield, a double digit, double digit cash back return. That is so beautiful. And that is how we get out of poverty. That's how I get out of poverty. That's how I'm going to get everybody out of poverty. Now, everybody have the entire to do that. And this is my opinion. Obviously, I can't do it for them. Uh, investment, investment is a personal choice. People have to do their own choices. But I can understand. This is why it's so beautiful. It's $8.67. You get $0.55 cents in return. Next month, if they say $0.45, cents, so be it. We get $0.45 cents in return. That $0.45 cents is still higher than everything else out there. That's crazy. It's higher than, like, except the yield max fund, but it's higher than almost everything. You name a fund, you name something, it's, that 45 cents is still higher. That's just a prediction. We don't know how much you're going to get paid in February. That's crazy. The, the lowest point is 44 cents. Lowest point was 44 cents. It's still higher than almost everyone out there. This is why it's so beautiful because you're buying something so cheap. And can you imagine you own a thousand share? I'm about to buy a thousand share at this price. I'm just waiting for it to hit. I set the price, I think like eight fifty or something like oh eight dollars. Right? You get a thousand share this month, you get a thousand share next month, that's two thousand dollars. So essentially, you're spending a thousand share. You're spending, you know, a thousand share time, eight dollar and sixty seven cents. What was the price again? I want to make sure I want to precise sixty seven cents. You spend eight thousand six hundred seventy. What what fund out there is eight thousand six hundred seventy, and you're gonna get? Oh, wrong number. I'm sorry, thousand share. Time fifty five cents. You get five hundred fifty dollars. You get five hundred and fifty dollars. You put a thousand. You buy a thousand shares. You spend eight thousand dollars. You get five hundred fifty dollars. And you get. You're gonna get this number for for a long, long time. And the and the amazing part about this fund is that next month, or the month after next month, or whatever month it is, this fund is capable to make ninety nine cents. It's capable to make 80 cents, capable to make 70 cents. It's going to keep going up. Yeah, it, that's why it's so beautiful. That's how we're going to get out of this thing. That's why, that's why we've been very lucky. And all of us are very happy, very blessed that we had an opportunity to own this fund. And that's why we're very appreciative of you and your and your staff, every single person in Yield Max, we very appreciate it. Very appreciate it that you create one of the greatest things in the investment community. To me, this is one of the best things ever in the investment community. There's not a lot of people don't know about it. And a lot of people, you look at our chat, there's people still fighting it. There's still people come in and argue about whatever. That's okay. Let them let them argue, let them whatever. We're just gonna keep doing it. Like, there's a whole bunch of us. We've been doing it since January of last year, so it's one year now. Just think about it. We've been doing this for a whole year, and I'm making $6,000 a month on my way to $7,000 a month, and eventually I'm going to make $10,000 a month. Now I have enough money to buy other funds. I have other ETF that I invest in. I have QQY, I have IWMY, I have Coney, I have you know AIYY, I have SQY. Now I'm starting to put money in the Y Max. I'm going to get a thousand dollar on those also. I'm going to try to get a thousand dollar on every one of these funds, and I'm going to get ten thousand dollars a month. Okay, I, 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 this is the part that just mind boggling me. That the you know the people out there, the nav erosion people. We don't use that word here in our Discord, and we, we don't. We just don't care. And I can't even explain to you, even I do care. So, and 
Now, and uh, because we getting, you imagine you get that dividend. You essentially get eight dollars and sixty eight cents. If you own this a whole year, you get eight dollars and sixty eight cents. Time whatever share do you own. That's crazy. What what? There's nothing out there that's better than this, and this is how your your portfolio explode. All you do is just keep buying more and more of it, and then it just keep getting bigger and bigger. Because what happened when Tesla come back up? Tesla will go back up. Everything will go back up, just like just like it did before. Yeah, just like um, I don't know why I click on this button. Just like, just like you know, back here it eight, went up to eighteen dollar. Back here went up to twenty one. You know, here seventeen dollars. Yeah, it's three different, three different hills here. It will go back up. It will. Just like all the yield max. You know, like here's all the other yield max. They're doing really well. Look how many of them. Even though everything is down right now, look how many of them is over twenty dollar. More than half of them are t over twenty dollar. If you include the nineteen dollar plus or minus, you know, a dollar, well, if you include that, that's a lot of them going to be. Yeah, because it's the underlining. Tesla is very volatile. Go up and down. It's down right now. It's going to go up, and yeah. When it when it go back up, we're gonna be amazing, and this is why we're so lucky. We are so lucky, and 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 just continue on doing what you do, man. And like I said, you're more welcome to come hang out and drink beer and just talk and and uh, and we don't need to know who you are. Just like Rex here, they hang out with our Discord and we don't know who they are. And they always, you know, they always send me a message and say, "Hey, love it, love hanging out with you guys." Real honest talk. Yeah, it's real honest talk. And I'm not doing this for fame or fortune. And like I, like I told you, if you want to do one-on-one -on -one interview, go you, you go do someone go go to other YouTube channel. Give them the fame and fortune. We 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 are going to get successful. We are going to get successful. How I'm going to get rich because my portfolio is going to get rich. I'm not going to get rich because I'm making YouTube video because I interview you. I'm going to get rich because my portfolio is going to rich because I'm buying the correct fund. I'm buying the amazing fund. I'm buying fund that generate me good high yield dividends. And I'm, I'm exploiting that. Your mission is to generate income? Well, thank you. What I'm saying is do your mission. Do your job. And, uh, and I will continue to support you. Yeah. With that, I want to turn it back to the community here, so this way they can chime in. I got last 15 minutes here. Normally, Jay, on Thursday, I do what you call a portfolio review. I, I you know, the the viewers, everybody out there, they would submit in their portfolio, and then we review and we talk about it. That's what we do on Thursday. Uh, but you know, today, I'm going to turn it back, uh, so this way everybody can have a, a you know some more conversation. Hey, hey guys, first of all, before. What do you think of my uh, my my love message to Jay here? Is this the right tone, the right message, or you know we did this we did this twice already? You know we did this one for Rex Share, and now we're doing this one for Yield Max Jay. And then after that, I'm going to record it. I'm going to up send the link. I'm going to send it to him. Now whether he watch it or not, I don't know. But Rex Share watch it, and they were very appreciate. Matter of fact, they did their study on it. <laughs> so I was like, okay, yeah, and and they they came back with follow on question. They're like, hey, we have some question for your community, you know, and so we we answer their question, you know. But the people here are honest. And I'm not I'm not saying that nobody else is honest. They're all honest. They're all good people. I don't know them, so so. Uh, but I I know us. And uh, yeah, you know. So, but here's 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 my piece of advice. Uh, <laughs> I guess if you want if you want unsolicited advice. How do you know who to talk to, man? Uh, here's Jay. Uh, you know, hey, God bless you, man. You in a tough business, and I, I don't know your job. And uh, but I, I tell people this all the time, man. You gotta, you gotta go find somebody to drink beer with, man. Like, because 
you go to all these MNSBC and and uh, C CNBC, Fox News, all those you know mainstream media's, and uh, and you know they're, they're polite when they interview you, but when they uh, when you're not in the room, I haven't met a single one of them say any good thing about Yale Max or you or not you personally, but your your fun. As of us, I think we're the only one who say anything positive about your fun. If, if somebody find me a video where these mainstream media like Fox Business, Bloomberg, you know, Yahoo Finance, all those YouTube, all those videos out there that say anything positive, well, let me know. I, I'll, I'll watch that link because up to this point, I haven't seen one. Yeah, so but they, when you interview them, they're very polite. And then, so we watch all your YouTube videos. You go around to all these YouTubers, uh, you know, making videos with them. That's great. I, and that's awesome. Uh, I'll tell you, it's so, it's so funny. You know, if they asking you about nav erosion, man, they're not applying analytical skill thinking at all whatsoever. None, not whatsoever. Because how is it this community doesn't care about the nav, don't even care to ask that question because we understand what's going on. We don't need to ask a question. That's like asking me, how do I tie my shoelace? I just tie it. I don't know. I didn't even think about it. I just tie it. Like asking a basketball player, how do you dribble? I don't know. I just dribble. I get the ball. And I just dribble because I've been doing it for so long. I don't even know. I don't. I don't, I don't even think about how to dribble. I just dribble. It's like asking people to ride a bike. How do you ride a bike? I don't know. I just do it. You know, just like yeah, because they're not applying. They're not applying any illogical thinking. Like I got it right away, man. I'm not even. I, I'll, I'll, I'll. I can tell you one thing. I will never ask you about nav erosion. Just. Just. We don't need to ask that. We're like, oh, hey, hey, man, Tesla. I don't even. I mean, I was like, wow, Tesla's down. I look at this, I'm like, wow, Tesla's down really hard. The stock market is down. You know, all the stock market is down, but Tesla is down right now. Yeah, that's the underlining. That's the effect of the underlining stocks. Hey, man, let's pray for Tesla to go up. And then we we'll go up. Great. My my only concern or question for all of us is: Are you generating the max income possible? That's what I want to know. Are you generating the max income? Are you paying us the max income possible? That's it. As long as you're doing that, that's your that's your job. That's your mission. Yield max. That's your name. Then generate the income. That's it. That's all we ask you to do. Don't worry about this. You're never gonna get me to ask this question. Don't worry about this. Can you imagine this thing is five dollars and you're paying me sixty cents, seventy cents, eighty cents? What? Can you imagine this thing twelve dollar, fifteen dollar, twenty dollar, and pay me sixty cents, seventy cents? Yeah, you're doing your job, man. Hey, so I'm really happy. Sorry, I, I supposed to turn over the community and I I still uh, rambling. So uh, hey, community, what's going on? Anybody want to say anything here? Because we got about roughly ten minutes to go. And uh, anybody want to jump in and and give a, a, a mess? Oh, first of all, what do you think of my oh, what do you think of my message or my video here? What do you uh, you guys agree, disagreed, or you want to change something? Okay. Uh, line, go ahead, line. Come here. Yeah. Uh, first, great message. Uh, thank you for uh, doing it. Um. I think it's important to understand the mindset of investing for cash flow and income. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, what I'd like to say, this is not a growth investment. This is an income investment, I yield income investment. So that's the first thing, the mindset we all as investors in income need to understand. What it means is that we want to generate a monthly income and uh, we want to use the compounding effect of this investment. So basically what I'm saying is that uh, we would like to accumulate more and more shares that will pay us every month higher and higher dividend, assuming given the fact it's going to be the same rate of either 40 cents, 50 cents, or more per month. That would basically, uh, mathematically, will be higher yield on cost. 
So the higher we reinvest, the more that we invest in the fund, the more share counts we are going to hold, which will generate higher income every month. And generation of higher income is cash flow. Yep. And when we get this cash flow, we have flexibility to use this cash flow whatever we want. We want to either reinvest in order to continue this booster to our portfolio. I call it booster because it generates high income. We can reinvest in the same underlying fund or we can reallocate this capital to other funds in order to create additional snowball effect with other funds. So that portfolio is getting bigger and bigger and bigger over time. So if we are able to diversify across all these yield max vehicles and use also the defiance, which Zega Financial is a sub advisor uh, for this particular uh, type of investment, alternative in investment that is based on option trading, we would be able to generate high income while mitigating some risks associated with the underlying. So that way we can diversify, we can increase our account, we can increase the dividend on monthly basis, and we've basically been able to grow our wealth. So I think this is a great vehicle to use it for this uh, purpose. And, and, there, and therefore this is going to give us an opportunity to get to financial independence over time. So every investor need to stick with the plan. If you are a high yield income investor, you need to be in that mindset and being able to believe in the underlying of each and every vehicle, whether this is NVIDIA or mm -hmm. Tesla or Tesla, or it's going to be uh, MZ for Amazon or Apple for Apple or any other Elon Musk vehicles. If you believe or you're bullish in this underlying and you understand these investments and you know the strategy, how to uh, generate income, you will be ahead of the game. You will be able to get your investment back after X amount of years that you invested in it. it depends on what investment you are invested in. And you are playing with the house money eventually. Again, given the fact that the underlying will continue to be in the game and Zega Financial will do the best for us to generate high yield, high income every month. Yeah, well said, well said, man. Thank you so much. And thank you also for Jay for running this business for us. Greatly appreciate it. Yeah. Snow, Snow White, I know you uncue your mic earlier. Do you want to say something? Snow White. Yeah, go, go ahead. I think you may have to push the talk. I don't know. I don't know if you used Discord before because we cannot hear you. Uh, okay, so the push the talk button is the shift key, the right shift key, and then you can talk. All right, uh, so he muted his mic. So uh, did he text something? No, he... All right. Does anybody uh, else want to say something here? Yeah, this has been it's been a, a a great blast. I really enjoy it. Uh, first of all, um, you know, this community is not it's not possible if we didn't have yield max. It didn't it, or high yield dividends. A lot of people, you know. You know, I'm always into high yield, you know, uh, Tesla and Yield Max. 
No, it's it's high yield dividends. I and mean, that's what my YouTube channel is, high yield dividends. And that's so I'm there's a lot of high yield dividend. When we start off, there was only Tesla, OLK, and Clip. But now there's a lot of them. I mean, there's a lot of them now. There's essentially one born every week. So you have choices now. You know, the today consumer has a lot of choices. And so you don't have to buy Tesla. Now, I keep reiterating this over and over again. I'm going to keep talking about it. When you buy Tesla, when you own Tesla, you should, be, you should feel love. You should have passion. It should be amazing. It should have been fun. Buying Tesla shouldn't be a headache. It shouldn't stress you out. You shouldn't worry about things. It, it, it shouldn't. It should have been like, man, it's like buying a flower and bring a flower home to your date, to your girlfriend, to your wife. That's what it should feel like. It should be a joyous occasion. So people in my Discord, in our Discord community, people hanging out with it, that's what it feel like when we buy Tesla. I, I bought I bought you know Tesla this morning at very low price. I was like, man, this is great because I know that at the end in the next month I'm going to get dividends. I'm going to get a lot more dividends. That's the beauty of these things. That's why we enjoy it. That's why we love it. That's why we have so much fun. But there's people out there stressing out. <laughs> I don't know. If that's the case, then you don't have to buy Tesla. Go buy something else. Just buy something else. There's so many other funds. There's Rex Share. You can buy Feppy. You can buy Defiance, QQY, IWMY, all these other funds. Yeah. Investment shouldn't be stressful at all whatsoever. You should have a great time. You should have you should have a great time. That's what that's what we talk about here all the time, man. It's a lot of fun. Alright. Um and, and let me see, I'm gonna go through the list here. Uh go ahead, your last uh, last opportunity here to cue Mike here because I'm about to play the music. Did somebody say something? Okay, so as our tradition here, um, since if Dwayne in, I'm gonna give him the opportunity to uh, say something. Uh, first of all, uh, Dwayne, uh, what do you think of this format here? You know, we did this one time for Rexshare, and that turned out to be very successful because Rexshare gave us some feedback, and then we we went back and made another video. And then to answer the question, you know, and um, so what do you think of this, you know, making a video love message to Jay? What do you think of that, Dwayne? Well, I think the, the format, you know, is is useful for, you know, getting out there when we're talking about someone in particular. Um, you know, I've I've expressed uh, uh, to you before and, and you've listened that, you know, anytime you you have a video and, and talk specifically about someone, you know, it's best to have them involved, you know, and, and by putting out there on on X or wherever, uh, it, it draws more attention to you, to Jay, to, to whoever, you know. Mm -hmm. I think that's a, a great way of, of involving someone in yeah. a discussion, discussing them in particular. I appreciate it. Hey, okay, so Dwayne, you got the last thing here before we say goodbye. All right. Well, you know, I want to say thanks for for doing the show um, and doing it multiple times a week because you you got more energy for it than I got. Um, but but tonight I, I want to put a message out there, and you know, I'm going to go against my rule, and I'm going to have someone's name in my mouth. I want to personally thank Ethan. And, and all the followers of Ethan for showing up tonight. Uh, it actually made the show great, you know, because this is actually one of the higher higher viewed shows. Um, and I want to say this this isn't an us versus them situation. We're all here for the same reasons. Uh, we want to, you know, find ways to a path to being uh, rich. And there's actually a lot of commonality between our two discords. A lot of people are in both 
um, and a lot of people are invested in in both types because people like to diversify. Um, nobody knows the future, mm-hmm. and whether whether you're following you know along in some high yield dividend funds or you're you're going in some crypto ETFs, uh, we we're hoping that their underlying goes up. Um, whether that's Tesla, whether that's Litecoin, whether that's whatever, you know, nobody knows the future, and we're all just, we're all betting that these are going to go up. And you know, I want to invite all of them back. Come on, let's let's discuss. So long as people are, are respectful, everybody's invited. And then just real quick to to our our own faithful audience, you know, um, we don't want our chat to be toxic from other people or from us and and so let's let's keep our chat polite and we don't need to bash anyone um even if people come in and and bash something that that you like we don't need to we don't need to do that in in ours so with that everyone have a great night yeah Dwayne. hey thank you always man uh what a great friend Dwayne and i we started this journey together at the beginning and uh, I don't know, and we never met each other, but we have one thing in common, is that we're, we're, we're trying to be financially independent, you know, and this is one of the vehicle that we go about with. Uh, I'm glad you mentioned Ethan. A lot of people doesn't realize this, but I watch almost all his video. Uh, if you, you, you give me a, a, a video's topic, I, I watch it. So, you know, so, um, and so I, I love Ethan. Uh, you know, I think he has some value to the investment community. Uh, we, we don't share a lot of things uh, in common. So you don't have to like everything. But yeah, I, I watch a lot of his video. And, it, it, and so uh, a lot of people don't know that, you know. So, um, okay, with that, I want to say thank you so much. And, uh, and uh, peace out, everyone. Take care.